Sending information between views through a Segway is an incredibly simple and useful thing to do. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so let's create a new Xcode project. You want a single view application. Um, call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call mine between. Create that, whatever you like. So here you have main screen of Xcode. You're going to want to go to your main storyboard. So here's your first view controller in your main storyboard. Click up here to select the view controller itself. First you're going to want to insert it into a navigation controller or embed it in the navigation controller. And this lets you, well, navigate around backwards and forwards to this view controller. So you have this view controller. Let's um, first add our text field into the view controller. Put it in the middle. Um, because we have auto constraints or auto layout in Xcode 6, you know, center it horizontally, horizontally. Next up, you want to add a bar button item. Just right there. Up here to the bar button. This is going to be our continue button. This is going to take us to the next view controller. Click on that. Let's just make it done. So we have this first view controller set up. Let's add the second view controller, which is obviously where we're going to be sending our data. So right there at the top, don't even need to search, drag that in. And that's pretty simple. View controller there. Click on this done button we just added. Holding down the control button, drag and make this a show segue. That's the segue itself, which takes you between the two views. So we have our second view here. Now we want to create a view controller class for this. So go to File, New, File. Cocoa Touch class, next, view controller. Make this second view controller because it's our second view controller. And just save it where it wants you to. Click on this view controller, go to that thing that looks like a newspaper, and set the class, the view controller class for this view controller to second view controller. So now we can quickly click the assistant editor and we have that second view controller class. Now we want stuff in the second view controller. We want somewhere to display our string that we're going to send from that text input on the second view controller. So we're going to add a label and drag in a label. Again, we have to center it and we have to do the auto layout because auto layout. Now, we want to get a variable in our code to access and add stuff to that label. So control drag over here. Let's just call this label. We also want to create a variable that we can drop a string in in our first view controller when we're passing between the two. So let's create a variable called received string and of course it's going to be a string and you have to um, define it just as an empty string we have our variable and lastly on this view controller we have to actually put that string that we received when the view controller loads into our label so here in the view controller load which of course runs when the view controller shows we go label dot text, which is the text of that label. We want to go received string. That's just going to put the string in that received string variable into the text of the label. But on the first view controller is where we actually have to do the sending. This is where we actually have to prepare to send that information over to the other view controller. So first, all of course our text is going to be in that text field so control drag text field at the top of the view controller class I'm just going to call it text field how you pass a variable between two view controllers is a special function called prepare for segue and you can just type it in prepare for segue and order and complete will load it up in the prepare for segue function we're going to create a new variable called view controller, second view controller, of the type second view controller. So it understands that this is the view controller that we're sending it to, we want to go segue, which is of course the segue that we're passing through, and 
we want to go destination view controller. Xcode is going to give you a little bubble here. You just want to set that so it sets it all up properly. And then you're just going to want to drop the string from the text field into the received string variable in that second view controller. So text that gets the text out of the string, out of the text field. And that's all you need to do. Let's check that it runs. Our app is just loading up. And there is our text field. You type something in it. So you type something into it, press done. And as you can see that text I typed in comes up in that label.